Hello everyone, welcome to Delicious Momolicious where I cook, eat and travel for food. Today we are making Ugandan Katunda or passion fruit juice. These are purple passion fruits and they are very sweet. I like them because they have a little acid compared to the yellow passion fruits. These are grown in Uganda. They are so common here. And I love having this katunda or passion fruit juice whenever I come to Uganda. I've only met these in Kenya in a few places in the supermarkets. We'll just go ahead and cut them open and remove all the seeds because they contain the juice. I'm going to show you how we are going to do it. You hold the passion fruit and you get the knife and cut it open, cut it into two, and then it will reveal all the passion fruit goodness. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that looks. Looks so beautiful, looks so tasty. So, today we're going to be using a blender because I'm in a bit of a hurry. But the traditional Ugandan way is the katunda is usually made using a strainer, what we call a kasengija in Rutoro or kasengija in Luganda. So, we are going to use a blender today because we want to do things very fast. Now we put all the passion fruit juice inside there, all the passions that we removed from the covers. We put it inside the blender. And then we add our Ugandan sugar. I don't know why I'm saying Ugandan sugar, but it just feels nice because Katunda is so Ugandan. We add a little bit for taste depending on what you like. I'll take out the spoon. And then I'll go ahead to add some bit of water because I'm making katunda for two people cover the blender and then start it guys if you've not already subscribed please hit the subscription button so we're going to turn on the blender and let it run also feel free to hit the notification button on the right so you can get notification of my videos whenever I post so once the blender has done its work we now get a separate jug and a strainer to strain our passion fruit goodness out because we need it to be smooth and all liquid we don't need to be biting on seeds so we are going to strain everything until we've extracted all our juice. You can feel free to use a spoon, a long spoon, avoid touching the liquid. Now I changed and used a bigger strainer because the small one was taking a bit of the time. I'm going to show you guys. Yeah, this is the big strainer I changed to. So these are all the seeds I collected out of the juice. Can you imagine if you don't use a strainer, all this will be inside your juice. And I don't think I like biting on those when I'm having juice. Maybe when I'm just eating the passion fruit. By the way, you can just eat the passion fruit on its own. You don't really need to blend it. But this is Katunda, guys. So our juice is ready. It's ready and I'm going to be pouring it into a glass and sipping on that. Look at that beautiful juice, guys. Please try this out. 
try making a Ugandan katunda. It's always amazing. I always have it whenever I'm in Uganda. Look at that. How beautiful is that? And I assure you, it tastes so good and it's so colorful. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and hit the notification button for more videos. Leave me a like, share. Goodbye. See you in our next video.